popping All in my phone, I got options And I don't wanna tell you to drop it But I don't wanna play your fair Yeah, something That makes me look at you too often But baby, you can give it something Baby, I can run all the time All right, besties, room tour time. So right when you walk in, there's this like lounge area. I really like the vintage vibe it gives off. I feel like it's gonna match like the aesthetic that I'm going for really, really well. So I don't know, I think it's cute. And there's a self-serve bar right here. Like that's insane. I'm not drinking on this trip, but it's cool to have. Anyways, it's so cold in here, but Another thing that I noticed, there aren't very many plugins, which kind of stresses me out, but it's fine. Anyways, walking in here, this is the bedroom. It's so cute. I love this style. It's just giving me like European vibes, and I just love that. Like, look at these pillars. So cute. And there's another lounge area over here. TV. Just so much space, which is really nice because I'm here alone, and you know, like I want to be able to chill in the hotel room too. And then this is the view from the hotel room. It's really windy out right now, you guys. How do I open this? I don't know, I can't open it right now, but look at, you can already tell. Like, look at how windy it is. This is so sad, what am I gonna do? And I'm only here for four days, so. Man, anyways, let's keep looking around. I love like the two mirrors and this doorway, like that's gonna be so cute for pictures too. And same with this doorway and there's literally a walk-in closet like okay pop off how cute is that and then coming in the washroom it's pretty cute too look at the shower you guys wait look at the shower it's huge like what and the toilets in here somebody even if you gotta leave somebody Welcome back to my channel, it's Zayna. We are in Mexico. I got here yesterday, as you guys already saw, and I've already settled into my hotel room. Yesterday, I just wanted to take it a bit easy. I just wanted to get a feel for the hotel and look at some areas that I can chill out, like kind of have my own space. And honestly, this resort is perfect the only downside right now you guys is the fact that it is actually like really windy outside last night was terrible but right now it's not too bad i already did breakfast this morning right now i'm just gonna go chill by the pool and soak up whatever sun i can get but yeah let's go <laughs> It's actually really nice out right now, but I'm scared that the sun is gonna go away. See, the sun is right there, and I'm hoping it doesn't go behind the building. Look, all of that is shade over there. That's why, like, no one's sitting there. It's so sad, but look at my nails. They're so cute. Tomorrow I'm doing an excursion from 2 p.m. till 7, and then I leave the next day at 2. So I'm trying to extend my trip. I'm not ready to leave yet. I'm just trying to do one extra day so that I can spend Thursday here. So I'm just on the chat with them right now and hopefully they say yes. I just asked them. I was like, can I please extend my trip? They're either gonna say no or they're gonna tell me that I have to pay a fee. So depending on how much the fee is, then I'll do it. But yeah, you guys, so far it's really nice here. The food I would say is maybe like a six or seven out of 10. It's not bad. The food in the Dominican that I had was so much better. Like that was like a 10 out of 10. So it's so hard to top that. Oh, he said, thank you for staying connected. You're welcome. <laughs> so, wow, almost lost you guys. Like, see how windy it is? Oh my God, the hotel room is actually really cool. So I'm not very happy about that, but it's okay. I tried to get them to fix it, but they didn't fix it, so. They came and they just like pressed a bunch of buttons and then left. I was like, okay, but I'm gonna ask them again. They said, as you are already at the property, you can just walk up to the front desk asking them to extend your stay for a day. They will help you with that. Okay, 
thank you and will they help with the flight as well? Because how does that work? Like if I want to change my flight, how does that work? He said, nope. So how do I do that? Hey, nope. Like, what is your problem? You wanna fight? This guy wants to fight. I can check that for you. Thank you. I texted Maddie. I was like, so wanna go to the Dominican? Because <laughs> the experience there, unreal. Like, you can smoke shisha everywhere there. Here, I can only smoke shisha on the beach. But yeah, you guys, I'm just waiting for him to text me back. I'll let you guys know if I can extend my stay or not. Hi, besties. Okay, I'm back in my hotel room. I'm just getting ready. I think we're going for the crimpy hair today. We need to catch up on what's going on. I was really worried that a lot of people were gonna try to talk to me while I was here, and I wanted to come here to just kind of like be by myself. That's why I didn't invite any friends. So, but no, everyone is super friendly. Everyone can kind of just look at me and see that like I'm alone, but like I want to do my own thing. All the staff here are super nice as well. Like everyone's so helpful. Even though most of them are like gonna try to sell you something, if you do need help, they'll help you, which is amazing. Like everyone was like, oh, everyone in Mexico are scammers. They're not, I don't think. You know, everyone was super helpful to me. I don't know what that sound is, but every time I turn, the heat off it turns off so and I'm cold so I got to keep it on oh also I tried to extend my trip right um, first of all couldn't get like Expedia on the phone at all the only thing that they said was I can change my stay with the hotel the guy that I was talking to on the chat with said he couldn't access my flight details so I had to call and then I tried to call and then I just couldn't get through to anyone so then I was like, you know what, whatever. So I went to the hotel desk. I just asked like how much it would be if I wanted to extend one day. And they literally just said, you can't because it's fully booked. And I was like, what? Like there's nothing we can do? I just want one more day. They're like, we're fully, we're like overly booked. That's what they said. I was like, oh, <laughs> well, I guess it's not meant to be for me to stay an extra day. The only reason why I wanna stay is because I'm doing an excursion tomorrow for five hours and that takes away from like all of my beach time. So I think I'm just gonna wake up really early. Sometimes I forget that you could just wake up really early and do what you wanna do. Like I don't have to sleep in all the time. So I think I'm gonna wake up at like 8 a.m. and then just go chill on the beach till I have to go on the excursion. I was a little bit worried about coming here on my own, but now it's like super chillin'. I love being here on my own. No one bothers me. I feel completely safe. That was one thing I was really worried about was like the safety because everyone was freaking me out. Everyone was like, all my friends were like, be careful. This can happen, that can happen. Just all these super scary things. And I'm like, girl, why are you stressing me out? Like, don't say that to me before I go on a solar trip. You know, so that was kind of annoying. Like, don't stress me out like that. But it was fine. Everyone is super helpful. There's tourists everywhere. Even if I did want to leave the resort and go on the strip, I would be completely fine. The only place that would be like kind of dangerous is if you go into like the actual city where the tourists aren't. So that's the only part that I would be worried about and that's some normal everywhere, you know, really like in a foreign country. Just stick with the tourists and you're just fine. The crowd here is a lot older, which is also nice because then I don't have to worry about like younger men my age like hitting on me and being weird. The older folks don't look at me at all, which is really nice. So if you're looking for a solo place to come, I would come here. The food is bearable. I know I'm making it sound like absolutely terrible, but it's bearable, it's fine. It just tastes like any kind of food that you would get like at a hotel breakfast that's like included. You know, it's not terrible. Like you can make it good with sauce, but I would definitely probably go back to the Dominican if I want to do a resort again because when I stayed at the Royalton Sheet Girl, that food was just so insane. Like better than any of the restaurant food I've had in Calgary where I'm from. So take that with a grain of salt. And if you guys know any resorts with really good food, please tell me because I've spent hours researching and this was the only one that had good reviews on good food. So I don't know if I'm missing out on something, but I need a place with good food, girl. Like. I need something to look forward to every day other than the beach. I need the good food too. Now that I've caught you up on everything, I'm just getting ready to go take pictures. I'm gonna take pictures in that blue dress that I showed you guys in my last video. 
I don't know where I'm gonna take these pictures. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of nervous to like bring my whole tripod and the whole shebang, my camera and everything and set it up in front of people. Cause I just know people are gonna come up to me and be like, do you want me to take a picture of you? And it's like, no girl, no girl. The tripod angles are the angles that I want. So it's okay, but you know, people are just trying to be friendly, but I'm a little nervous about that. But then I just remind myself that I will literally never see these people ever again, unless I come back to this resort and I see the workers, but that's really it. So it's fine, we can do it, you guys. This is your sign to take a solo trip. I'm having just as much fun as I would if I was with someone. The only downside about taking a solo trip is awkwardly filming in front of people. Obviously, if you're not a content creator or a vlogger, you don't have to like worry about setting up your tripod in front of people and posing. Like, awkward, I don't like that. Other than that, girl, this is your sign. Just take a solo trip, what are you waiting for? Just do it. But she's from Nicaragua, thought she was Persian love Are we turning up, are we wasting time? I just finished taking pictures, I'm pretty sure I got some good photos, I don't know, like I was looking at the viewfinder and it looked so cute. I'm taking the stairs up to my room because I'm trying to get skinny, okay? <laughs> I like that my room is like right by the stairs so I don't have to walk all the way this creepy hallway. I always keep my do not disturb sign on because I don't need anyone to clean my room so I'd rather no one comes in. I took like maybe 500 photos. If I don't like any of them, this whole trip would be a waste of my life. I need a good sunset pic and hopefully I got one. Okay, let me just take these out right now because they're... Making my eyeballs hurt. Making my way downtown. Maybe I just need to re-put them in. Like, I just feel so cute with them on. And they match my dress. Even my eyelash is falling off. Girl, why was that so stressful? Okay, Whew. now what? <laughs> I already ate, so I'm not hungry. I could take more pictures and just like change my outfit. I can't really like sit on the beach or anything because it's so windy and it's getting so cold. Maybe I'll just go for a walk downstairs. <laughs> I don't even know what outfit to wear. Anyways, let me pee and figure this out. This is the outfit that I decided on. I'm just gonna go walk around, okay? This is chill, it's a two piece, but I made it into a one piece, so let's go. I'm just chilling by the pool, but it's actually kind of chilly out and my brain hurts, but I'm just gonna keep on walking around and see what else there is to do. I got cheese sauce, quesadilla, chicken taco, fried rice, and ground beef, and I got orange juice. I've been here for one day, and I just want to show you the mess that I've already made. Like, and this is just for one person. I don't know what happens, but I just, I don't know. Like, even the closet is in shambles now. Like, it's been one day. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day, and guess who canceled her excursion? Me. Well, I didn't cancel. I just told them I wasn't going and then they wouldn't give me my money back. So that's awesome. <laughs> but anyways, look at this view. I know I probably already showed you this like a bunch of times, but isn't that just so beautiful? So I canceled my excursion because number one, it's my last day here and I just want to chill. They wouldn't give me my money back and I still don't want to go on it because if I did go on it, I would have to leave in 30 minutes and I wouldn't be back until after sunset and I'm trying to get sunset pics so I'm just thinking, you know what, I can do excursions on another trip. So I woke up super early today, you guys. I woke up at like 8 a.m., which you guys know that is so early for me. I did my makeup, I filmed a brand deal video earlier and I got ready. I'm wearing the same outfit that I wore on the first day just because it's super comfy and warm. I think I'm gonna go have some of the barbecue. There's a barbecue party, I guess. Also, I had breakfast this morning and girl, <laughs> It was so bad like it was so gross and they like didn't have any options that were like not pork you know they didn't have any turkey or 
chicken or anything like that. Everything was pork, so I just ate like mashed potatoes and scrambled eggs and beans and it was just, it wasn't good. It wasn't good, it felt like jail food, but you know what, it's fine. But yeah, right now I'm gonna go to the barbecue party and hopefully they have good food there because I am starving and I haven't been able to get any good food while being here. <laughs> okay, I changed for like the third time. I'm just wearing a black bathing suit and a cover up now. And I put my hair up because I am trying to go, oh my God. Kind of cute, isn't it? Anyways, now I'm gonna go get some barbecue and lay on the beach. I also brought my shisha, so hopefully I can smoke on the beach without getting in trouble. Hello. Hello. Do you have any chicken? Uh, just one. Okay. Yeah, I'll take just one. Onion. Yeah. That's okay. Thank you. Yeah. There you go, honey. Thank Enjoy. you. I found the perfect spot right in front of the beach. How cute. I'm pretty sure that was the excursion that I was supposed to go on. That little boat right there. I'm kinda glad I didn't go on it. That looks scary. If you fall, I will be really upset. I got a lot of food, I know, but I'm really hoping it's good this time. Let's try the chicken wings. Mm, better. We got the shisha set up. Hopefully I can actually smoke this because it's so windy right now. that I'm wearing. I don't know if you guys can see, but I am so sunburned. I've never been sunburned ever in my entire life. I'm excited. I really hope no one stares at me because there's a lot of people out there, but you know what? Anything for the gram. Also, look at my bracelets. So cute. Okay, let's go. This is so important, you guys, but we're taking pictures right over here. Don't fall. I came home and changed again for like the seventh time and I put on the same outfit that I wore this morning and the first day because it's so cute and comfy and guess who actually got some pictures in it it's kind of annoying because you can see my bathing suit so I'm gonna try to edit it so you can't see it yeah because we don't need everybody knowing that this is see-through <laughs> I got cute 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 fix I'm so excited anyways now I'm gonna go eat something. Anyways, it's our last day here. I'm so sad. Honestly, I do kind of want to go home because I want to edit this video. <laughs> okay, let's go. Ooh, yum. Oh, kiwi, yes, absolutely. I'm gonna need like 30 of these, that's for sure. Oh, yum, 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 yum. What else? I'll take this strawberry. The food was more of like a 7 or 8 out of 10. Well, 7. It was a 7 out of 10. So much better than what we've had before. Maybe I'll try to go watch a show or something, but I don't even know if anything's happening tonight. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Last night I passed out at like 11 p.m. and then I slept for like 12 hours. So I didn't do anything else. You know what? It's fine. I'm ready to go home and I'm so sad because guess what? It's actually so nice out today. Look at how beautiful and sunny it is right now. Like, you're kidding and it's not windy. Look, the trees are barely moving. What? I still have two hours, so I'm just chilling by the beach. 